Hey, what's happening, everybody? Dan here again. I was going to do a short video on this new battery I picked up on Black Friday. It's the Watt Fun 300. I've used it several times since I got it. I've had it about a month now. Just going to do a quick review on its performance and how it stacks up to my old battery, the Rock Piles 500. Out of the box uh, you're gonna get the battery and then it's gonna come with this little case and this is gonna have your charging accessories in here I'm gonna open this up and uh, what's cool is it comes with your standard um, wall charger your AC charger you just connect these two you connect this into the brick and then you can just plug it in it charges usually in about I've only had it down to about 50%. I think it charges in about three hours or so, three or four hours. And But what's cool is it also comes with a car charger, which I have not used yet, but it comes with this car charger right here. And so if I was going to head out to a dark sky, uh, you know, have like an hour drive or something, and I hadn't charged this thing, I was like, oh, well, this will come in handy because I can just plug it in on the way. Of course, you know, an hour of charging in the car is probably not going to get it fully charged, but maybe you have it, you know, at 70% or something and you want to top it off on your way out to a dark site. It comes with a little car charger, so that's cool. So when you're done charging your battery up, you can just put your accessories back in this little carrying case. And that's... I like that because it's easier for me to keep up with. Um, I have chargers and cables and stuff laying around, and I get them confused on which one is which. So I just keep this case by this battery, and that's what comes in the box: the little the case with the charging accessories and the battery. And I'm gonna put this up here. This is what I've been using. This is the Rock Pile 500. So this is a 500 watt hour battery. This is a 300 watt hour battery. I've been able to run my EQ6 and ZWO cameras and the ASI Air Pro with this uh, battery with this battery right here for two nights without charging it. I was doing some research and i never even heard of this brand before i was going to get another rock piles uh, they, they make a smaller version and i believe it's i've seen it as low as about 180 dollars or 175 dollars i think it was on sale for black friday and i was going to get the rock piles smaller version like this one but i started watching some youtube videos for for battery comparisons and then i thought about getting the jackery it's very popular. Uh, a lot of people use the Jackery for portable setups. After looking into the Jackery, what I didn't like about it is it didn't offer these uh, these barrel ports right here. And I use these. I use these on, on both of my batteries on the DC. Uh, this one has four ports and this one has two. So I looked at the Rock Piles, the Jackery, this one, uh, the Blue Eddy or Blue Yeti, however you pronounce it. Uh, Gold Zero. I looked at several, you know, a lot of them were expensive. This one was on sale for $199. And uh, after I bought it, a coupon popped up for an extra $20 off. So I could have got it for $180. Kind of, kind of mad about that. But that's how Amazon rolls. The reason I chose this one is because it has these barrel ports here. And what I've been doing lately. So with the okay with the rock piles, I use a a 12 volt splitter, and then I'm able to run these heavy duty uh, cigarette lighter plug 12 volt cables. This is a 10 foot uh, cable, so it's plenty of length to reach to my camera or the ASI or Pro or whatever. Um, they do make 
these cables, these barrel cables, they're um, 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter, male to male, and these are six feet. So I run one of these from this battery to the GTI, and then I run another one. Uh, I just plug them in right here and uh, run that to the ASIR. And I'll use a cable like this to use for uh, powering my camera to cool it. So I'm able to hook up three DC connections here and run my mount. So, uh, and I don't have to use the splitter. I just have to use that one, that one, and that one. So this one uh, is great for that. I wanted this battery because I needed a separate battery to run multiple rigs. This one wouldn't push two separate rigs, I don't think. But uh, I'm gonna and I'm gonna turn this on here. This one has a it has a little battery icon, and it, I think it's five levels: one, two, three, four, five. So it's on four right now. So I was outside running it one night and I I don't think I had charged it. It was my second, maybe my third. So it could have been my fault because I can usually get two nights running this thing. But there's no um, percentage indication here. It's just this battery level. So I was running my EQ6 and my big telescope. I think it was my, yeah, it was my, my Celestron Edge. Um, so I was running my bigger mount and this thing just, it was, it got down to three bars, which I'm thinking, well, it's got, it's got plenty of life left in it, but it, the mount died, everything just lost connection. That's when I was like, started looking at these, these newer batteries here. I started looking at these newer batteries, uh, like the Blue Eddy and uh several different brands but when you power it on here you you hold this button for a couple seconds and it powers on and it's actually it's got the battery icon but it's also got a percentage icon and i ran this last night in pretty cold weather and it, it runs that mount just fine i could probably run a couple of nights without charging it one thing i noticed and then I did some research and found out uh, these rock piles, the 12 volt ports here, the 12 volt ports, they're not regulated. I've been using this battery primarily with my ASI Air Pro right here. And I never had any issues with uh, voltage or anything like that. Now, it may not be. This may not um, have that setting or warning in the Pro model. I don't know, but when I first got my when I first got my ASI Air Plus, I used this battery and plugged it in, and I noticed something. There's a little battery icon, and I didn't screen record it, but it was, it was a voltage warning. It was a low voltage warning, uh, running like 11.8 or something, and these things really need to hold it 12 volts. Something I found out about this battery is uh, these DC ports are actually regulated. And they hold, even when the battery uh, starts discharging and it gets lower and lower, it's going to hold that voltage at 12 volts. So I use this battery with the ASIR Plus. I didn't get that warning. I never got it. So something to consider if looking at these rock piles these 12 volt plug-ins are are not regulated and i don't know if that can cause damage in the long term but it could cause your your asir to lose connection or reset or just something to act funny so if i do have to get another battery um to replace this one down the road i'll be getting something like this one that, that's regulated so it might be something you want to look into. Now I want to talk about the performance of this thing. I took this over to Walt's house the other night and we set up and I ran my GTI rig for, I think it was about five hours. 
maybe six, because I ended up packing up at about 1 a.m. and driving home. But this thing ran the GTI, the ASI 2600, and the ASI Air Plus. Fine. Didn't have any issues with it. And it was cold. It was around 30 degrees. Um, and I think when I got home, I had about 50% on the battery left. And that's, that's the lowest I've drained it to. And so that was about between five and six hours I got running that rig. So that was great. I was expecting for something this size. It, I was like, well, if I can get four hours out of it, I'll be happy. But it ran it for six, roughly six hours and got down to about 50%. And so I used it last night. It was 25 degrees. I think it was about 23 degrees Fahrenheit when I packed up. And I ran, I ran it last night in the front yard for about four hours, I think. And it, it's down to 78%. So yeah, I ran it for almost four hours and, and, and it's just below 80%. So it's great. Uh, for 200 bucks, this thing is well worth the money. Uh, it's way lighter than this one. I think this one's about close to 10 pounds and this one's maybe six. But what I do is I just, I just set this on a little stool beside the GTI, make sure all my cables will reach. And I probably do need to get some longer uh, cables, maybe some 10 foot ones. And that'll be plenty of room for the SI air because when it swings around, sometimes I have to watch and make sure it's not going to catch anything. So I'm just going to do a quick um, overview of the battery itself. So you have to hold the power button on, um, push it down for about two seconds, and then and it powers on. So that powers on, and you have your DC ports here sectioned off. You have um, your USB ports and then you have a type C in the center and then you have two AC ports over here on, on this side. And so when you power it on, if you want to use DC, USB or AC, you have these little buttons, uh, above each section. So if I was going to use DC, I just hit, I just hit the DC and then that powers that on. If I wanted to use USB, I hit the USB. Same for the AC, which I, I don't use AC. I run either uh, DC or USB for everything. So you can cut that off, cut that off, and cut that off. Uh, it also has a light bar right here. And the light, the LED light is, it has a low setting, a medium setting, and a high setting. And it'll be useful if you're uh, picking up cables and stuff or wanting to check and see if you dropped anything on the ground. And then cut that off. Yeah, it has uh, USB 3.0 fast charging. And then in Type C. And then you have the AC with the ground and then uh, just a regular two prong AC. And one of the, one of the reasons I got it, uh, the 12 volt 10 amp, and I think that that's on all ports is 10 amps. So I'm able to run my little portable setup with these three inputs right here. And that's it. Would I recommend this battery for astrophotography rigs? Absolutely. It's performed way better than I thought it would. I was hoping to get, you know, four hours out of it. I got six, I believe, uh, one night. And then I got about four last night and it only got down to about 80 percent so this thing is a beast and another thing is it also has the life po4 batteries so you're able to charge these a uh, substantial more amount of times than you can with just the regular lithium ion batteries in this in this one i think this thing performs as well as this rock files does and it's a 500 watt uh a 500 watt hour battery and it was cost a good bit more. This was around five hundred dollars, and this was two hundred. So if this one ever goes out on me, I'll probably just grab another one of these. And one thing I did see on the reviews is that the bigger version, the five hundred watt version of this Watt Fun battery, does not have the uh, Life PO4 batteries in it. I think it's uh, just regular lithium ion like this. But 
as far as I know, this the smaller one, the 300 watt hour, has uh, the the uh, phosphate batteries. So great little battery for a portable setup. Uh, if you don't have a ready power source, this thing has exceeded my expectations, and it was well worth the money. All right, that's my review on the Watt Fun 300. Clear skies, everybody.